Introducing the confession booth. Kane, this is what you woke us up for. I'm gonna have to agree with Jax on this one. Guys, be nice. Uh... I worked hard on this. It doesn't matter what a stupid booth can do, that my room doesn't already. I'm glad you asked, Zubal. Oh, my big mouth. The confession booth is a small enclosed space to let out all your grievances. Talk. Oh, I've never talked before. Cry. <laughs> Shout. <laughs> Have a mental breakdown, Ragatha. <laughs> All that and more possible on our soundproof heaven. Kane and I figured that airing our emotions isn't the best thing for us. Since I don't think we get far with NPCs, and I don't think we can trust Kane with our emotions. We thought that screaming into the nothing would be the next thing. So, when you say anything, you mean anything at all. F Holy sh! Out of my way, I gotta try this. Kane's a motherfucker who likes hearts and How'd you like that, Kane? While I'm sure you said such wonderful things about me, I truly don't know. Pomni suggested that it would not feel as safe if I collected your data while in there. So the moment you stick your little heads in, it's completely silent for your friends and for me. Uh. That's about all my use for it anyway. I'm going back to bed, see you later. Well, that's rude. We had a cooking activity last week, and I told Pomni her food was good. It wasn't. I think a pair of hands are out to get me. Everywhere I turn, they're always there. Huh? Gah! I wasn't gonna use you, but Gangle told me to try it out. God, that feels good to swear again. I stepped on my favorite centipede. Why am I so weird? I feel like if I let myself be sad, I'll be irreparable. Sometimes I'll look at my parts and wish I could just break them. whoop de doo good job, Pomni. Years worth of bullcrap fixed by a digital cylinder. Why would I need to go back now? I'm practically in heaven. Even if I never ended up here, would anyone even take me seriously? Everyone here keeps coming to me like I'm some sort of safe haven. But the moment that I ask for something, suddenly I'm invisible. It's... quiet. Except it doesn't matter who I end up being, because I'll always be a f up! Oh, right. I'll always be... a dumb rabbit! Why can't I just be normal? I'm so sorry for wasting your air! Can't I just be a person? I'm never... Gonna get out of here! It's never this quiet. Ha <laughs> Huh. Ragatha? Huh? Are you okay? Huh? Evening, Gangle. You're done with that one already? Yep. I did not want to be alone with my thoughts after the day I had. Oh. Why do you like that booth anyhow? Oh! You visited the booth! The booth and I got comfortable with time. At first, it really hurt. It was nice to get it all out. And I feel a lot better after talking with a friend or watching a video. Anime cheered you up. More like Toad Mario singing Megaluna. <laughs> <laughs> Never change, Gangle. No, I'm not actually. Thanks. I'm happy I'm friends with you, Zubal. It's whatever. 